Today, we will be taking a quick look at the Maya exchange after its last update and which strategy you should be using. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now we haven't done a proper video on the Maya exchange since it had its last big update and so we thought that it might be a good idea to show you what has changed and which strategy we think is the best to use right now. This is not financial advice in any way and there are many strategies that you can choose from but if you want to maximize your rewards this is the best option at the moment. The biggest change was certainly made by the Elrond team with regards to the multiplier. So those of you who have been using the DEX right from its launch will remember that in the beginning it was possible to set up the eGold Max farm in such a way that it would basically be self-sustaining, meaning that users could generate Max and Locked Max to compound their tokens again and again to create LP tokens and then stake those LP tokens in the farm. Now, with the last big update, this has changed a lot, since locked max have been given a higher priority, resulting in a 15 to 1 ratio, and thus making the old strategies obsolete. And if you are new to the DAX, this means that it makes much more sense to focus on generating LK max as rewards, since the APR is much higher now. Which begs the question, what is the best strategy right now? Well, if LK Max are what you are going for, then I suggest you do the following. To benefit from the high interest rates in the eGold Max LP farm, first set up an LP token with eGold and Locked Max. And to show you how that's done, I will show you how to do that step by step. So first, let's head over to the liquidity tab and create an LP token with eGold and Locked Max. Don't forget that you always need some eGold left to cover the transaction fees. And then next, stake your LP tokens in the eGold Max farm to generate LK Max as rewards. Once you have done that, there are basically two options. One is you could harvest the LK Max and keep on compounding it with eGold to generate new LP tokens to be staked in the eGold Max pool. You can do this as long as you have eagles left to compound your locked max with. But what if you run out of eagles? If this should be the case, then you can simply stake your locked max that you get as rewards from your farm in the max farm on the top right here. This way you will generate locked max as rewards, but it doesn't just lie around and even though the APR is a bit lower than it is in the LP farm, staking your rewards is still better than just leaving them to rest. And that's it. This is the best Maya exchange strategy if you are interested in generating LK Max. However, what you can also do is, of course, choose to take either your LP tokens or just your Max or Locked Max to generate Max only. Some people prefer this strategy over the other simply because the Max are not locked and you can swap them for Eagle at any given time. But as we've said before, the rewards won't be as high and again, this is totally up to you. There is however a third option, which is the so-called meter staking for the new ride token, which was listed in November. Meter staking will allow users of the Maya exchange to earn three different types of rewards, namely the LP fees from the liquidity pool, max and locked max rewards from the regular farm, and then thirdly, right rewards from the right meter stake. And so if you want to know more about that, then I suggest you subscribe to the channel and leave us your comments below. Until then, thank you very much for watching and happy staking. Bye bye.